Hello, and welcome to Western Washington History. I want to say thank you to all the subscribers. As of this video, we are just over 800. Big plans are in store for this channel, as well as the Facebook page. This photo I posted on Facebook generated a lot of attention, so let's find out a little about the Cross Line. The Cross Line was 150 feet long and had a 750 horsepower Sumner diesel engine. The Cross Line was capable of carrying 65 cars and up to 300 passengers. It would travel at just over 11 miles per hour. The Cross Line was designed for the Alki Manchester Ferry Run by famed naval architect L.H. Coolidge. I could not locate a photo of him, but here's a brass spike with his signature given to someone who had a boat built by him. In the case of the Cross Line, that would be Captain Harry Crosby. The captain owned Crosby Direct Line Ferry Company. Captain Crosby named this ferry after himself, that's why it is Cross Line and not Cross Line. He was going through the alphabet and already had an air line and a B line. Crosby had the Cross Line built by a Marine Construction Company who had a shipbuilding business on the Duwamish River in Seattle. The ferry was launched in 1925. Crosby's whole business model was based on a direct line, or the shortest route, and Alki Beach to Manchester he saw as the most direct line. The Cross Line could make the trip in 25 minutes. When it was built, it could only take cars on one end and the other end was closed off. From the beginning there were two other ferry lines that ruled the waters in that area. The Puget Sound Navigation Company and the Kitsap County Transportation Company. Neither was happy with the new line. So a rate war began. Crosby had exactly what he advertised, which was the most direct line and was capable to operate at a lower cost. Even so, to a lot of people's surprise, in 1926 Puget Sound Navigation Company bought out Crosby. The captain remained in charge of the ferry line, though, and little changed with the cross line. The Alki Dock washed out in 1935, and the Manchester route took the cross line to the Coleman Dock in downtown Seattle. No longer the direct line Crosby had wanted. The cross line was sent to the San Juans for the summer season in 1939 and 1940. The cross line was sold in 1942 and taken to North Vancouver Island, Canada where it was converted to a passenger only ferry for the shipyard workers there. Washington State Department of Highways bought the cross line in 1947 and sent it to Lake Union to be rebuilt. They needed another ferry to help supplement the Scansonia on the Tacoma Gig Harbor run as the second Narrows Bridge would not be open for another three years. The Cross Line came out of Lake Union as a double-ended ferry. It also had new twin diesel engines and a second wheelhouse. West Seattle once again called for the Cross Line as she was sent to relieve the ferry Lincoln from its job on the West Seattle Vashon route in 1949. Washington State eventually took over most of the ferry service in 1951. The cross line was then sent to the Hood Canal using the low fall dock on the Kitsap Peninsula side in 1952. It ran only on weekends. It did that until 1961 when the Hood Canal floating bridge was built. The Muckleteo Clinton route used the cross line service in the summers of 1962, 63, and 64. It was back to West Seattle and Vashon Sundays only in the summers of 65, 66, and 67. Labor Day of 1967 at 9.55, the Cross Line departed on her last trip for the state of Washington. Cross Line was then sold in 1967 and used as a warehouse on Lake Union. Not the life it was built for, but old Cross Line was still working. It was sold again in 1975 and moved to Coos Bay, Oregon, where it was to become a restaurant, but plans change. Its body was removed to become a warehouse, the hull was disassembled and became part of a fishing boat and dock. Word is the warehouse and dock were torn down, but no word on the boat. The cross line put in 42 years of service to the people of the Puget Sound and I feel it should be remembered for that. Thank you for joining us on this voyage with the Ferry Cross Line. Please, if you made it this far, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, remember, what you do today will be history tomorrow, so make it count.